Matt3756. What's up, goobers? Welcome to my second channel where I upload anything and everything else besides claw machine and arcade game videos. And we're back with the Cooking with Matt, the, the series you guys love better than my claw machine videos. No, I'm just kidding, but I've been getting a lot of requests for this, so here's another one. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make awesome P.F. Chang's signature spicy chicken. This, this stuff is freaking delicious. It's the best one, I think, and this is white meat chicken, which is the good kind. You don't want, you don't want that non-white meat stuff because it tastes like uh, you're eating a raw chicken. And then we're going to make some uh, chicken fried rice. First thing we're going to do for the rice is put a tablespoon of uh, cooking oil in here. And that's going to give it that real nice fried flavor. Give it a little thing, make sure it coats the bottom. I'm using my awesome new uh, Rachel Ray cookware provided by Tracy Frog from a uh, Matt's Mel video. That was so ridiculously kind of her to send this really, really good but expensive cookware you know, to Matt's Mel. So I've been using, I've been really loving this. Thank you again, Tracy. So that should be good to go, and uh, let's get this started. All right, so, boom. All right, so for the chicken, uh, the reason I have two uh, pans here is because we're gonna put the chicken in one, and then we're gonna put the uh, flavoring, like the sauce, in the other one. And the reason I'm doing this is because if you mix them both together, which you, I guess is how they want you to do it, it's so soggy, it's like you're eating a frog. Um, but if you if you do it separately and then mix the sauce later on, it doesn't sogify the chicken, and it tastes amazing. So I'm gonna show you guys a little trick on how to separate the two here. More cooking with Matt. All right, so when you open up the P.F. Chang uh, chicken, you're gonna see two things. These little square rectangle things that are orange, these are sauce, guys. This is frozen sauce. That's all it is. It's not chicken. When I first made this, I didn't know that. You know, it's like they don't even tell you that. That that. Here's the chicken. Here's the sauce. Here's what the chicken looks like. So separate the two, and that that's what we're gonna do here. So it's not sagified. So we're gonna put our sauce in this pan that's behind the chicken. And then we're gonna put, we're gonna melt that, and then we're gonna put our chicken in this big one here. So I'm gonna separate them. Oh, listen to that sizzle, man. You don't really need a lot of these either for the sauce. Oh, that one, I don't know what the frick happened to that one. Look, looks like a freaking meteorite. Now I'm gonna cover both of these with these awesome glass Rachel Ray lids here, and that'll help it cook more evenly with the chicken especially. I'm gonna put the sauce on low, because we don't want that to burn. Chicken's probably good on four. Now let's throw in our rice and hear that sizzle. Whoa! Ow! Ow! Dude, this stuff is dangerous, man. Tracy also sent me this awesome uh, wooden utensils. I got a whole set of them. Uh, and she said to use the wooden utensils, uh, especially if you're with the metal pans, because that makes them last longer. I didn't know that. And I guess it makes sense, though, because the wood on the metal ain't gonna scratch it. Whereas if you're doing metal on metal, yeah, that wouldn't be good, man. I, I can't remember if you're supposed to cover this or not. Uh, no, we're not microwaving. Microwaving stuff is disgusting. All right, so we're gonna cover that up. We're gonna have to stir that about every minute or, or about every minute or two minutes for that. We're gonna make sure our sauce is melting. Look at that, melting really, really good there. Look at that, guys. Oh, listen to that wonderful sizzle. Ooh, there is nothing like fried rice, man. And this is like really the only way I get my vegetables because it mix, it's mixed in with the rice, so it's like you can't taste them. You know, there's only a couple, and then when you're eating them, it's like, huh, you don't even know they're there. Except for the carrots, because the carrots are a little big, but yeah, I don't like warm vegetables, guys. There's not, I don't know, except besides spinach. That's the only thing I like warm. I don't like peas in general if they're cold or warm. Uh, carrots I like cold. I don't like warm carrots. Uh, what else? Yeah, that's about it. And like broccoli too is another one and I don't really like warm. It's gotta be cold, you know? Let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite vegetable? And do you like it hot or cold? There's our sauce, guys. Look at that. It's all liquefied. See, that was what those bricks were. It was just liquid. That's the sauce. Uh, a lot of people wouldn't know that when they're first making this, but a lot of people do make it together because it, 
it gives it flavors the chicken but I don't like how it sogifies that chicken I don't know man I, I swear it's separate what I'm gonna do is uh, once the chickens done and everything's done we're just gonna pour this sauce right on top of the chicken and that'll uh, it'll still soak in it'll be amazing I promise you the rice is popping that's awesome that means it's like almost done I think this uh, Rachel Ray cookware, by the way, guys, is amazing. I'm not even sponsored by freaking Rachel Ray to say that. It's just, it's that good. Like, nothing sticks. You don't even need, like, spray or, oh, Jesus, man. The freaking rice is jumping out of here, bro. I don't know how the Chinese do it, where they, like, flip it and it flips back. I feel like I'd flip it and it would be like, flip. There's our chicken, look at that, looking amaze balls. That's The sauce is boiling, so that's perfect. Chicken, I think, is done. So we're gonna cut the heat, leave it on there for a little bit more. I'm gonna get some plates ready, and then I'm gonna eat this crap, because I'm starving. I didn't even eat lunch today. I kind of just went like straight to dinner. Sometimes I do that, because it's like, if I don't, if I miss lunch, and it's like two or three in the afternoon, it's like, well, what, frick, I might as well just eat dinner. You know, I'm not gonna make lunch and then eat dinner again at like seven or eight o'clock. I'll just eat one meal. And then shebang, I'll snack the rest of the day. We're gonna put the rice in here, chicken in here, and that's, oh no, we're not putting the rice in here, we're putting the rice in a bowl. Rice is so much easier to eat in a bowl, guys. Don't remember that, bowl for rice, and then just use a freaking spoon and. All right guys, let's plate this awesome food. All right guys, first our rice, we're just gonna kinda guide it in there, best we can. Not a single freaking thing is stuck to this plate. Look at that. Unbelievable. All right, now for the matte modified part. We're gonna get our, pour our chicken in first. On this plate. Oh, look at that. White meat chicken, man, nothing better. See, now we're gonna take our separate sauce and pour it on. I'm actually gonna stir this up a little bit. Kind of get it, uh, get it going here. Get everything together, and we're gonna definitely season this too. I love my stuff seasoned, man. Nothing better. So that's all stirred up a roo. And check this out, guys. Ho, 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 ho. Do, 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 do. Look at that. Not soggy, it's gonna be good. But you're still gonna get that flavor in it, too. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our um, seasonings right on top of this, and it's gonna be amazing. Look at that for a meal, guys. Woo! Seasoning I like is uh, we're gonna put some crushed red pepper on both. I put crushed red pepper on literally every meal I eat. It's delicious. A little bit of salt from the salt grinder, and pepper from the pepper grinder. Aw, oh, seasoning stuff is amazing. Look at that, fresh pepper, nothing better, guys. And uh, I'm gonna be eating it with my chicken with this stuff right here. Awesome, you can get this at Walmart. It's really hot, but if once you build a tolerance up to it, it's not that hot and it's amazing. All right guys, thanks for watching this Cooking with Matt. Uh, I'm gonna eat this now because I'm really, really starving. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, cooking with Matt is I make simple meals because cooking is a pain in the butt. We'll see you guys next time. Don't be a goober. Click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos.